Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This is your May 1 to 14. Before we start, May 4 is a Star Wars day and also my day because it made the force be with you and at the same time, I will be doing my first webinar for Venus. So it's a weekend. We moved it, okay? Just to let you guys know. It's a Saturday, so we will have a party, okay? Join brunch with me and let's talk about Venus. Let's catch up, Libra. Okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus and Jupiter. Let's see. This is your bi-weekly. It's May 1 to 14. Let's give it a go. Ooh, we started. Get a moon card. This is, um, you know, there could be some sort of secrecy. Okay. That's happening right now. Oh, but the full moon, I believe. But it's happening on, I believe, late degrees of Virgo. Okay. And um, can be also in, in Western. I know it's happening in Libra. Um, the time that this was being recorded. Um, I believe that was the 19. Okay. So, but yeah, this can also reflect some sort of, um, you know, spiritual knowledge, intuition that you're trying to figure out. Um, this is also showing that, um, you know, you're trying to connect can be with your mom because the moon is your mom. Um, oh, by the way, hi mom, because my mom is a Libra, so I guess she's watching me. <laughs> so there's an energy here um, that um, something's gonna be revealed. It is a full moon. Full moon is very auspicious for any kind of, uh, you know, rituals, remedies that you're trying to do also. Um, amazing card, okay? Because the sun is in Aries, and then in Vedic's ideal, and then the moon, if the moon happens in Libra also, or late degrees Virgo, Libra, um, it would be very, very cool because you have two, um, you know, in axis, the one seven. So it's highlighting also the partner right now here. It could be something that is enlightening between the two of you. The other person is the Knight of Cups. Someone here can be trying to reach out to you. Um, this is, uh, you know, extension towards uh, love, emotion, and feelings. Uh, trying to um, look for a soulmate also. Knight of Cups is that energy. You're in the road right now to connect intuitively with your soulmate. This is also someone that you could be having dreams. Of, right? Like you're having dreams and you're seeing them in your dreams. You're a Knight of Pentacles. So you could have options. There's two people around you. If it's not... Um, there is an energy right now with regard to someone opening up to you slow and steady with regards to their feelings and emotion, okay? So it's a slow revelation with regards to feelings, okay? Um, but the Knight of Pentacles, they could have done it already before and then they stop, okay? So now you're left confused, you know, it's like uh, as a moon card, you know, you don't know what's next, okay? This can be your other person. Uh, the person that has six of swords can be a person that's far from you and that does require for them to travel to offer this cup towards you. If, it, if they're not distant, their um, mind is distant because the six of swords for me is also um, a, a moon energy for me because there's a lot of things that this person wants to discuss, but both of you are quiet in the boat and they're not, you know, it's like they're not being open about it. So they do have feelings, but they don't accommodate to it. Like they're not really um, expressive. Because they stop, remember? They stop. Can be Taurus, you have no uh, Cancerian energy here. There are six of pentacles, and then they reach out to you. I'm not sure what this person is reaching out, but now, okay, they're returning. Someone is returning, okay, who has stopped, currently stopped, and then now um, extending again themselves towards you. I'm not sure if that's confusing for you as far as an energy where it's like, well, they stop, and then now here they come again, and then, you know, because that the six of pentacles here, there is a purpose, that's why they're returning. Because something that they have realized can be during the time that the full moon is happening. Under the Six of Swords, you don't have a cups, you have Eight of Swords. Okay. The way that this person reached out to you, okay, it's a little bit scary because they also don't know why they're back. Okay. So you're you're with someone who confuses you, Libra. Yes. They don't know why they're even around you, why they're talking to you. Um, but they because they have doubts about it they have doubts about their mentality they have doubts about their feelings and that's why they're in recluse also meaning because I see the knight walking you know towards this direction so the moon is reflective as your first card is strongest as a very confusing energy where it takes time okay for the rev revelation because the moon goes into different phases so now this is the phase of the moon where the illumination had happened yes that now you realize that this person is really really just like this you know so like, i'm not sure if you will accept this person as someone who sometimes they express sometimes they don't sometimes they come back you know so this is a sometime okay? so there is no finality right now because they don't know eight of swords they doubt whatever is inside your head 
they know that they can reach out they can text you they can you know this is that energy they will however there's a lot of things that they also okay is fearing right now okay so libra i'm going to continue this reading from may 1 to 15 i'll see you in my webinar um link down there in the description box we'll see how the interactions evolve bye guys